I think what we want to create with our Neighbourhood Learning Centre is a place where, where families will feel comfortable coming right from birth through till when they leave our school. It's kind of our own spot, our own place. So in relationship to what our Neighbourhood Learning Centre will bring the school district and the community in early learning, a very similar partnership exists to, uh, to support uh, secondary students. In terms of accessing services for our own kids during the, during the daytime, having the neighborhood learning space has opened up opportunities we wouldn't have otherwise had. For some students that, that are able to access programs and services at lunch hour, for example, that they normally would have had to leave the school for, and where now we've got uh, community connection staff right in the building um, making, making connections with kids and offering them uh, support during the daytime. Community Connections Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have lunch programs, um, we just get together in the counseling area. And we eat and we talk. What's nice about the actual physical location is it uh, provides privacy for kids. It's sensitive to students' needs. To have those services delivered seamlessly in the, in, in the school, in a private yet comfortable place where kids aren't having to seek those services by, you know, trying to find them in another venue, uh, all of that is making uh, uh, those services um, normalized, I think, for for children. As much as you can individualize supports and, and personalize relationships with uh, children and their families, uh, the more you do that, the more successful you're going to be. This is our uh, brand new theater and we're really excited. Lots of people haven't seen it yet. It's an optimum performing space for music, drama, uh, dance, lots of, lots of the arts. It's pretty cool that we finally have some sort of area for specifically for like arts and stuff, music and drama. That's pretty cool. Our beautiful new 275 seat theater is equipped with a whole variety of, of uh, new technologies in terms of the, the sound system and the projection system. The, the lights in the, in the uh, catwalk the students are able to access. I'm extremely excited for the new theater because everyone getting packed into the gym is really not the greatest thing at all, but uh, the new theater will just open up so many doors. The space that we have is perfect for all different kinds of arts, like for drama and for music and for dancing. And the, the community musicals as well, it'll be really good to watch the community musicals with the curtains and all the, the lighting and the, the sound and there's an orchestra pit, it'll be, it'll be awesome. It gives uh, Revelstoke a nice balance where we've got lots of sports and skiing and hiking and biking and now we have a very nice theatre to perform in. I love it. <laughs> For us in this building right now, what we're finding is that uh, you, you have to recognize that the journey to community involvement in the school is, is exactly that. It's going to be a journey, and that and it isn't. And there is no right way to 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 go about that. It isn't a singular piece of paper or policy. It's it's a negotiation of what's going to be best for the community, and what's going to be best for kids. We pride ourselves on being a very well balanced school. We have we offer everything, even though we're small. And so I think it really shows that uh, consistency and priorities. There's an energy and an excitement around the, around kids coming to school right now. I'm pretty stoked about it. I